Welcome back. Um, Kenna, why don't we go ahead and start with you. You saw Dr. Tong for what? For Crohn's disease. Okay, and, and for people that are not familiar with Crohn's disease. It, Crohn's disease is a, a chronic inflammation in my digestive tract. In my particular case, it's my lower intestine. Okay. And you had gotten to a point that what? I'm, I'm assuming you tried all of the traditional... Yeah, my gastroenterologist had me on steroids for quite some time, and then I got to the point where I couldn't come off of the steroids, and he requested that I have surgery at that point. Okay, and that, for Crohn's disease, it's pretty dramatic surgery. You, it would have changed yes, your life considerably, yeah. really. How did you hear about Dr. Tong? My brother had recommended him. He had been going to Dr. Tong for about the last four years um, for back problem and, and lots of other reasons. And uh, he recommended him, and I declined because I was afraid to go. <laughs> Certainly, and, and you know, we talked about that a little bit in the beginning. I'm sure you say, well, no, I'm seeing the best people I can possibly mm -hmm. see. These people know what they're saying. So what, I suppose at some point, though, you, you figured you had nothing to lose, probably. Right. Um, actually, what actually happened is I got to the point where I, I knew I was going to have to have surgery and at that point I chickened out. I didn't want to have the surgery. So I found, found out about a clinic in Mexico that treats cancer patients. I went there and spent 12 days and learned a whole new therapy and a whole new way of life and came back and decided that this just wasn't for me. I wasn't able to, to keep it up. And my brother again suggested Dr. Tong and made the appointment and we were on our way. Okay. So when you first talked to Dr. Tong and made a decision to go through with the treatment, what was... What were your thoughts? What was running through your head? Um, hopefully, I, what I was hoping for was something that I was doing in Mexico to take a portion of that and what Dr. Tong could do mm -hmm. for me and combine the two to make my life more livable. And as it turned out, I'm not doing anything that I learned in Mexico. I'm just seeing Dr. Tong. Okay. Um, how many treatments have you had or... or uh, do you have or how, um, how does that work? Well, I began going um, in the middle of September about three times a week and I'm going twice a week once for the injections and twice for acupuncture. Okay and how has this changed the the Crohn's disease? Well with Crohn's disease um, a lot of the problem is lower abdominal pain and either chronic diarrhea or constipation one of the two and, and um, low fatigue and um, with with the injections, I feel so much better. I don't have any diarrhea. I don't have the constipation. Mm -hmm. um, my energy level is much, much better. I feel like myself again. Mm -hmm. I don't feel ill anymore. Have you seen your previous doctor at all since you started no. the treatments? With no. Him? I go to Dr. Tong now with a cold, and I injured my back and <laughs> went to him for my back. And a little bit of yeah, everything. The, I really feel that there's no reason to go back to see my gastroenterologist other than to tell him what I found in Dr. Tong. Right. I think I think she should mention how fast you responded and how fast you came back on regular food and then what you had to do from the uh, clinic in Mexico mm -hmm. in order to get a little bit of relief. And how's our relief compared to, to the, the, the clinic? How it, fast you responded? In, uh, what I did in Mexico is I, I learned a new diet, and what that diet was was a strict vegetarian diet. I had 13 fresh juices a day, um, coffee and tea enemas mm. twice a day, and several different medications that I was on, and B12 and liver injections that I had to learn to give myself. Right. And um, with Dr. Tong, when I went, I had, um, after I think my third treatment, I started eating regular food again. Wow. And with no problems. Without the reactions with that you no. had mm -mm. in the past. Dr. Tong, is this, she is continuing to have the treatments. Will this be a lifetime of treatments no, for her? She could have stopped three, four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But in order to get her to tough shape, she's getting tuned up, mm -hmm. okay? I want to add uh, the fact that the, after the first treatment, most of her pain was gone. Mm -hmm. And then two more treatments. We say, why don't we try some regular food? She stopped all the juices. She stopped all the uh, 13 to 15 pills that she's supposed to take, mm -hmm. the coffee enema, and every other thing that she's supposed to do. And now she lives just like a normal person. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it uh, kind of amazes me that the treatment that she get back to uh, sure. so fast. I have done many, many people with uh, lactose intolerance yeah. and other food allergies, any kind of allergy, I get them all, but not so dramatic. But usually now I find out that with younger people, fast, very fast. Mm. Because just like a younger city is very easy to repair. A younger car, a newer car is much easier to repair. But something that you get a problem for too long, then it accumulates and many other organs get damaged. See, what I'm doing is that I, for the first treatment, 
I re, uh, restore the circulation to the small intestine. Right. Okay, just like a traffic jam mm -hmm. causing problem right. in mm -hmm. Santa Ana. And all you gotta do is just take, remove the traffic jam. The body heals itself. Santa Ana heals it, itself because everybody knows how to do it. The cells in the body have, all have intelligence to repair. Right. And all you need to do, do now what's the difference is that acupuncture would not be strong enough right. to create such a dramatic, dramatic relief. From first treatment to third treatment, get back on regular food. Amazing. Okay, yeah. let me stop you again. We'll be right back. Prescription drugs kill over 100,000 Americans a year and rank as the fourth leading cause of death. And the number one killer of people under 36 is side effects from drugs and surgery. If you suffer from chronic pain, drugs and surgery are not the answer. Fortunately, the cure is here. At Dr. Tong's Wellness Pain Center, over 90% of patients experience dramatic relief from the very first treatment. Call 888-DR-TONG-1, visit our website, or tune into our cable program, and find the cure. Christine, I know you saw Dr. Tong as well. What, what did you see him for? Um, I had a series of, I had six different sinus surgeries uh, with no relief. And in fact, I kept getting worse because I was building up scar tissue. Mm. Um, so then, um, and again, I, I seen Dr. Tong as a, as a last resort because I was real skeptical. Um, I'm a registered nurse and, um, and I was pregnant. <laughs> okay, all, all those things combined. I was going um, to mention the fact that you were a registered nurse. Here, here's a person who's, you know, you've devoted your life to medicine. Mm -hmm. um, and yet, the traditional medicine wasn't working for you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't working and I was getting sicker and um, I was being placed on narcotics, which mm -hmm. is a real um, adver adversary, which what I do, because I work in a psychiatric hospital, and I have a lot of patients that come in that are addicted to narcotics because of chronic pain. Um, and then what do you do? You take you detox them from the narcotics, and then they're still stuck with the pain. With the pain, and of course you were uh, pregnant, and of course there's all the worries that go mm. along with that. Why do I want to continue to take um, drugs when I'm pregnant? Plus nobody would see me. <laughs> so, <laughs> doctors, how did you hear about ability. Dr. Tong? Um, I, just through the paper, actually, I, I was reading an article mm -hmm. and um, I was disabled. I was on um, or dis disability for four months. I was mm -hmm. off, off of work um, from my hospital. And uh, I even went to a priest. I had hands laid on me because I was just in chronic, intense pain. Mm -hmm. It was constant. And I had uh, nerve damage on my left side from the last surgery that I had had. Um, and I went back to the surgeon to try to help me, but because I was pregnant, um, he basically said, well, see me, see me in nine months. Right. Huh. So were you worried when you, when you heard about Dr. Tong's treatments and, and how it wor would work in this type of thing? Were you concerned at all about Very, I was very concerned for, for my un unborn baby because right. I didn't know the effects of that. Plus the, the doctors um, that I had been to, I went to maybe five or six different doctors looking, seeking help, right. and none of the doctors would see me until after I delivered. Um, so uh, when I went to see Dr. Tong, I was worried he wasn't going to see me, um, and that wasn't the, uh, that's not what happened at all. I mean, he was, he was wonderful. He's, he's also a very, em uh, very empathetic doctor, mm -hmm. too, um, and he helped me. I went to see him uh, on the onset, or initially. I went to see you, what, three or four times a week um, because the pain was so intense. And then uh, I gradually kept getting better and better, and I was able to go three and four days. I was pain-free. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I went three months, I think, total. And now I've been 100% pain-free for three years now. This is fascinating because you, you don't, I didn't believe, that the first treatment was very interesting. I was mad because he had me laying on the floor. I had to get out of my wheelchair, and I don't like to be in that position. And. Uh, he was injecting me with these needles. And so it was just a phenomenal thing? But when he got me back in my chair, I said, God darn, it's all, the pain's mostly gone. And so I feel great, and I was really happy. I w went out and partied that night by myself. <laughs> and it's one thing to treat the pain and give relief to the patient. It's another thing to actually take care of the disease that's causing the pain. Absolutely.